Hi guys, Jayadito here and so today I'm going to show you how you can install Android 7.0 Nougat on your Android One device. First thing you got to do is you need to ensure that your Android One device is rooted and you have the latest custom recovery that is preferably the TWRP recovery installed. So the second thing you want to do is go into the description box below and head over to the links that you see there. The first thing you got to download is, you, is the ROM package itself. Download the ROM package from the link that is provided in the description box below and later download the gapps package and move it to your internal SD card or internal storage and then switch off your phone and boot into custom recovery as I will show you now. So I I am going to boot into custom recovery I have TWRP recovery installed so once your phone is switched off press the power button and the volume up button together and you will be greeted by you will be greeted by some fast boot commands now press the volume up button to go and select recovery and the volume down button now it will boot into TWRP recovery after you have successfully booted into TWRP recovery go to wipe advanced wipe select dalvik system cache and data and swipe to confirm wipe i'm not going to do that because i have already android n installed so after you have done with this go to install and select wherever you have stored the downloaded rom and the gapps package either it can be internal storage or it can be micro sd card so suppose i have downloaded the rom package in the micro sd card so i'm going to select that and it ok so now suppose I have downloaded the ROM package in the root folder so here is a root folder and these are all the ROMs that I have downloaded so suppose your ROM is here so select the ROM from here suppose this and select add more zips and select the open gapp 7.0 package and do swipe to confirm flash after you do this you will see that you will get the reboot option so do the hit the reboot and hit the system now it will boot into your newly installed CM12, CM sorry, CM14 or the Android Nougat ROM. I'll see you on the other side of the video when I my phone is successfully booted into CM14. So as you can see, it's already booting. I'll see you on the other side. After you have successfully installed the Android 7.0 package in your phone then you will be greeted with the startup page that is the setup page install your personal data your Wi-Fi your email account Google IDs etc and then you are good to go so after you have completely set up the phone you will see a screen like this so this is the new Android 7.0 lock screen so I have set up password so this is the password and don't be fooled you will not get this launcher whenever you install that or not I will be giving the link for the zip file and the apk file of the android 7.0 launcher in the description box below so you can check that out and install that in your phone just like the way you have installed cm14 so then you will get this launcher and it will ask for you to change your default home launcher so just change it to this and you will get the default nexus launcher that you have been seeing in the videos in the youtube for so many days and guys sorry for the noise i'm currently in my home i don't have my shooting office right now I just started this so please bear with me so this is android 7.0 marshmallow sorry no good so as you can see this is android 7.0 this is no xda trick guys this is a legitimate rom i'll be giving the link in the description box below doesn't have an easter egg that's weird come on man give me an easter egg damn it so yeah you can see that it is cm14 cyanogen mod 14 but unfortunately what i saw in this rom was that Everything was working fine, calls, cameras, but the only problem that I faced in this ROM was that it was not giving me any playback of videos. Even my own videos were not playing. See, you do for your sign like, God damn it! Who builds a ROM like this? Suppose we go to see for deck and I, I do love Ash. You check out this channel. Suppose this, and it's not playing. There's a problem playing this video, man. Damn. Calls are working. Let me show you. Suppose I want to call Mi5 and speaker. And 
Hope you can hear it. So yeah, calls are working. Let me show you the camera. Camera, camera, camera. Okay, camera is stopped. That's weird. Open cap again. This should not happen. Okay, so yeah, this is the front camera. As always, bad quality. Moreover, let's just quickly switch to the back camera. Yeah, this is the default camera app that you get. Not pretty much different from Marshmallow, what we have seen earlier. Yeah, this ROM, as I would say, oh man, this is so damn satisfying. Woo! I will be making another video regarding the review of how this ROM works for. But let me use it for 2 3 days and till next time this is Jaditya thank you for watching hope to see you next time bye bye now